Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be doing something a little different. I am going to be unboxing a box from a company called Pinch Me. So this video is specifically for my American friends as this service, which I will get into discussing in a moment, is only available in the US. So I do apologize for that, but for everyone else who's not in the States, I've already posted three videos this week. Uh, so you can either watch this for the interest of it or watch some of those other videos. So Pinch Me reached out to me and let me know that they had seen my videos and they were wondering if I was interested in finding out more about Pinch Me and getting a sample sample box. Uh, one of the interesting things when they reached out to me, I have a very small channel and I do get um, companies reaching out to me, companies I've never really heard of before, and usually their outreach is very um, generic. You can tell they just cut and paste it and sent it to a bunch of people. The nice thing about Pinch Me is the person who reached out to me referenced one of my videos, um, it was just quite nice and I thought, okay, here's somebody who's personally taken the time to reach out. So I asked them a number of more questions about what the service was. So Pinch Me let me know that they are a free online service that lets members try lifestyle products from leading brands in exchange for their feedback. And I thought, well, that sounds interesting because of a couple reasons. First of all, it may give folks a chance to sort of get the feeling of unboxing and pack unpackaging things um, who aren't necessarily getting products to review, but you do get to review products through Pinch Me. The other thing that seemed interesting to me was that it, it makes a lot of sense for the companies that they would be able to specifically send out samples and get feedback as opposed to, you know, sometimes you're at grocery shopping or in different places and you sort of get samples, but it's sort of a scattershot distribution and you don't really get feedback to the company from what people think of those samples. So before I get into doing the unboxing, I'll tell you a little bit more that you probably want to know if you're interested in uh, perhaps working with Pinch Me. Uh, it does let you try brands completely for free. They do ask for feedback. Uh, every month they release a range of new samples uh, for members to claim, and it's released on Sample Tuesday, which is usually the second Tuesday of every month. So there is a limited quantity of things, so you do need to know when the Tuesday is that these are being released if you want to get a chance of getting those samples. Uh, they are brand name products for uh, cleaning, beauty, personal care, pets, baby, snacks, and much more. It's available to everybody in the US, but not outside of the US, unfortunately. They do let people know that not everyone is guaranteed a sample box every month, but they provide all members with other great freebies to take advantage of if they choose. Um, and from what I understand, they do have a number of surveys, uh, things to sort of let them know who you are as a consumer. So the best opportunity to be selected or be in the right category to get the samples is to fill out those surveys. Basically companies will, from what I would guess, want to specifically know feedback from target audiences. So they want to know a little bit about you so they can sort of slot you into those target audiences and then make products available. Um, it is likely that certain samples of folks are going to get products more than others. It's not something that Pinch Me told me, but it's been my experience with these kinds of things. Uh, so there are probably some folks who are going to be more eligible for these than others. Now they did send this along with a caveat that this is a premium blogger box um, because they wanted me to sort of unbox this and share the service. Uh, regular members may receive a smaller box with a different assortment of items, usually with an average of three to six samples. So what you're going to see today is not representative of what you would get, but sort of representative of the kinds of samples you may get. I also just wanted to reemphasize that because this box was sent to me and I didn't specifically go through the Pinch Me service, uh, if you're interested in this, I would do a little bit of your homework, take a look around, do some Googling, just make sure it's something that you um, are understanding how it all works. Uh, it's just good to do so that you get an idea of what you are signing up for. And with all of that being said, let's get into opening up this box. So when I open up the outside, it is a very cute little box here with the Pinch Me logo and says, try products from leading brands for free. They do have all kinds of the social medias, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. So let's open this up. Should I do this as sort of a blind kind of thing so I'm not really looking? Eh, maybe, maybe not. So just at the start here, we have a little card that explains what Pinch Me is, but it's pretty much everything that I told you at the start of this video. Okay, the first thing I see here is a Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strip 
one little no strip here, which is awesome. I have tried these before. Biore, I think, was the first one of those companies that did the sort of you know, tear off, look at all the blackheads and goop that it pulls out of your pores. So I've used these before um, and they are fun. I always have a great urge to use these on people that I know who don't generally use this kind of stuff just because it would feel like it would be so satisfying. Okay, I also have another product from Biore here, which I have not heard of before. This is a micellar water, but it is a baking soda cleansing micellar water. Uh, free your pores, great for combination skin. So that is a really good size sample there. Uh, and that's really interesting. I mean, baking soda is a cleanser. I've never heard of using it on your skin though. Oh, and then there's another Biore product. This one is a charcoal cleansing micellar water. Uh, wow, again, this one is free your pores and it says it's great for oily skin. That is kind of scary looking with how black that is, but charcoal is really good or isn't bad for your skin. I did a review on a charcoal sheet mask and did some research into charcoal as skincare. I will link that down below if you're interested in giving that a watch. But that's interesting. So they have one for combination skin and one specifically for oily skin. We also have a product here from Simula Sun, which is dry eye relief, sterile eye drops for dryness, smoothness, residus, and moisturizes. I'm not a big user of eye drops. My partner, well, not a big user, but my partner uses them now and then, but I do have allergies. So every once in a while, if I accidentally pet the cat and then touch my eyes right away, I do get a lot of itchiness. Um, so having something to soothe that would be really good. Okay, we have a product from Dove here. This is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. It is a new product. This is crushed macadamia and rice milk. And uh, yeah, exfoliating body polish, that would be really nice. We're heading, well, we're not heading into winter. It's like 30 degrees outside. It is very warm right now. Um, I've been trying to get better at moisturizing, but my elbows are always really rough. And so having something to exfoliate would be awesome. I'm gonna grab this package next because it's staring at me. It's some Skittles and these are sweet heat, fruity flavors with a spicy kick, which I believe I've seen these in stores before because I remember looking at it and thinking spicy and sweet, interesting. Um, I'm a big sweets and candy person, so these will probably be sampled today. Okay, and the last thing in the box is actually a trio of items from Eva NYC. I have actually used one of their products before. I will put the link to that review down below. So these are going to be three hair products. The first product is a therapy session hair mask with caravis protein, argan oil, it deep conditions, repairs, and strengthens, which is awesome. I just, I have to smell this stuff. Yep, that has a very nice spa kind of smell to it. My hair obviously is dyed. If you've been watching my videos this week, you have seen it gone from its very grown out root stage back to this color again. Um, but that combined with the fact that I do like to wear my hair up in a bun means I have a lot of breakage that's been happening. So having something that conditions and repairs and strengthens would be really good. The next product we have here is the Eva NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. I think this is the product that I tested before. Uh, so dry shampoo is always good. I have been trying out different inexpensive and cheap dry shampoos and so many of them are just not good. I mean, I always go back to um, one brand that I particularly like, but I try to work through all the ones that I buy and it's just harder than you would think to find a good dry shampoo. And finally here we have Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. A primer for your hair with argan oil and sunflower seed oil for, for all hair types. So the print on here is very hard to read, but it's basically supposed to do everything to your hair. Add nutrients, make it stronger, uh, make it dry faster, just make it smoother. It sounds wonderful. Let's, let's give this a bit of a go. Oh, that has a very nice smell and it goes on not at all greasy, which is nice. I wonder if I can... So I just put some onto my hand there. It's a very dry feeling oil, if that makes sense. It is not at all oily. Oh, I love the smell of argan oil. I should be using more of this in my hair. Ah, 
I used to have a container of argan oil and not only would I use it in my hair, but I would just rub it on myself sometimes with moisturizer because I enjoy the smell so much. That was awesome. These were much more deluxe samples than I expected them to be. Uh, I'm excited about everything. The only thing I might not use so much is the um, Biore strip just because I'm not a big fan of things that rip um, off the layer of skin. What's the word I'm trying to say? Those sort of pore remover strips, they can be a little harsh on my skin. Uh, and the eye drops I don't tend to use as much, um, but they will be good to have around when I do want to use them. But these are all much more deluxe samples than I expect them to be, uh, and a lot more beauty focused, um, which is awesome. So if you are interested in the service, I would recommend you go check it out. As I said, do your research, look around online and uh, decide if it is right for you. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for this today. I would also say that if any of these products you would like me to do specific reviews on, dedicated videos, please let me know. Tell me all of that in the comments down below. I do respond to every comment that I get. Uh, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, I will make my face pop up right here. I will also put another video up here for you to watch if you want to spend some more time with me today and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye!